to see that my uh, the Dodge is in there. She's not painted yet, but it, you know, this one is. But I did pull the Buick out, so we're uh, driving her a little in the fall. Gotta love all the whooshy noises this thing makes. I got this one back in, put my new tires on, but now I got some major rubbish happening, I guess being radials. So, I'm gonna have to try to roll my fender lip if I can. <clears throat> then I adjusted my brakes, but I got it too tight in the back there, so I gotta loosen the one drum. Which just to do a little bit of work there, but I'm gonna have to change out my springs. My lowering springs are a little too much. So I gotta go hunt around, find a new set of springs, and as other people have been saying, and I know it myself, bags suck. So, I gotta experiment. I got uh, some coils I'm gonna try in the back. I'll see how they fit. Right now, I am just in the midst of just pulling the bags out. I wanna try, throw them out, put these coils in, throw the tires on the back, and just see where it sits, if I like the ride height or not. And then, uh, then I got all this extra trunk space. I can pull all this air ride stuff out. Which will get used for something else, so it's not a big deal. It's all good. It has many uses. It's all set up for my next car, which I don't know what I'll do it on, but maybe the Merc. I don't know. Um, yeah, so let's finish getting these bags out. So here is our design. Let's hit start. my setup. I'm just going to put a piece of rubber under there. Uh, these are the washers that I made. Just bent them on the press. So it'll just go in the center. That'll fit there. This will fit snug into place. Put the cap in there. Golden. Bolt her in. Bob's your uncle. Good to go. So we'll get her in the car and see how it looks. So there we go. It's not overly complicated. Pretty simple. Just put a little piece of rubber under there. Sandwich that in there. Same on the upper part. I don't know if you can see, but that is sandwiched in there to hold the coil. So we should be golden. The new stance isn't bad. I'm not quite digging it. Still feels a little tall to me, but I can steer, so that's a win. So I guess the uh, only thing left to do now is see how these radials handle.
Sweet. So I'm pretty sure that'll be the same starter. So I'll have to get some tools and get that out of there. <clears throat> Thank you for donating more goods. No. Pulled that starter off that six. Fits on the motor. Uh, that's a win. Um, I'll just grab a battery and just see if this thing just turns over. I don't plan on trying to get it going right now, but I just want to see if the starter actually engages properly. Oh, that's cool. Battery in my... Battery in my car is dead, so... But it does work, so that's cool. I will look at this another day. Once I get some stuff cleaned up around here. I'm gonna change the oil pump in there, see if that works. That's the goal tonight. I'm gonna get the transmission out of there tonight. That's the plan. Uh, yeah. So we got good oil pressure to burn some of that stuff off, put her together. I think I'll take her for a spin tomorrow, see how she goes. Make sure it stays with good oil pressure. She's ended up being a bad lifter that I, th or um, a lifter out of adjustment. So she's not noisy, win. All right, next on the list. It's still early, so it's about 9.30. So I think I'm gonna get this tranny out and I don't know if I'm going to touch any of that interior tonight, but uh, we'll see. Depends how fast this happens. Cool. So tomorrow I'm gonna to pick up the transmission. That didn't take very long to do. It's uh, 10 o'clock, just after 10. So I don't know, what was that, a half hour? I don't remember now. But anyways, I this tranny does work. It just sometimes, if you're heavy on the foot, it hangs up in second gear for a while. So it might be just this governor in here. But I do have a shift kit and I have a stall, but this other tranny's already got all of those. So I'm just gonna R&R it, just throw it in there. 
and uh, I'll save this for, I don't know, something else. Not a big deal. It's still usable. Uh, so, it's still early. Because everybody's been razzing me, I'll probably take those coroplasts off and I'll maybe just cut the vinyl. I don't think I'll glue them in tonight, but uh, I'll take all that stuff off and I'll probably, I'm just going to put this material on it. So I don't really know. It's got weird pieces, so it'll be good for that. So I'm going to glue, get that and see if I have time to glue this stuff on there. And then that way I can do this header panel as well. Okay, so I ran out of spray glue, so I'm going to have to get some more tomorrow. But, at least, well, I don't know if you can actually see that. Let me see if I can brighten that up for you. You can see, it's just upholstered. Same stuff as the seat now. So, I'm going to have to do that part yet, and uh, this part over here. Uh, once I get some spray glue, so I guess that'll have to be tomorrow's thing. I guess I'll shut her down early tonight. It's, uh, yeah, 10.30, but, uh, yeah. Tomorrow's another day.
time is it? Wow, it's still not that late. It's like a uh, quarter after nine. So we got the transmission in. Uh, quickly check my brake fluid. Zip tie up a few of these lines. And top off the trans and uh, let's see. See if this tranny is good. Should be fine though. I was in a working truck that I knew, so. So yeah, let's get this done. I don't know if anybody actually remembers this one. Well, not that it was, I didn't do a build on it or anything, but uh, I built this one last winter, I think. I drove it last year. Uh, it's just a 50 Buick. It's on a different chassis. I think it's a Prigien or a Pontiac or like a Caprice that I uh, stretched bags, obviously. Uh, it's got a 6 liter with a turbo, 80 E. Uh, what did I do? Inside it's, uh, the dash and stuff is stock. But I did T-Bird interior. So rear seat, console, all that jazz. This seat needs to get redone. I was going to redo them all, but I think the rest of the interior is nice. So I'm just going to do this one seat. Or send it away to get somebody to do an actual nice job on it. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's, uh, I guess it's fancy. For me it is. I still beat on it, but. Still needs to do the headliner and the upper trim. Kind of like my Dodge over there, but I'm going to finish that up tonight. It's. What are we? Quarter to ten. So I should be able to bang that out quick. I picked up some more uh, spray. So I'll get that done and see if I can get that header panel done tonight. And uh, yeah, could take this one to work tomorrow. Threw some plates on her. Okay, what are we? It's like ten after ten. Doesn't take very long. I know. Uh, See if I can do this here. Brighten this up. It's nothing fancy, but I've wrapped some material around the headliner there. Uh, I've wrapped all those white coroplasts, so at least everything's the same color. I'm gonna get a light here. It's not very bright in there. Let's see if that's better. There we go. So I wrapped all that coroplast. That's all done. I did the header here. It's nothing fancy. I just wrapped it and it's tucked behind the garnish molding. So whatever. Somewhere to tuck your insurance and whatever else. But So we're getting close. The interior is pretty much done. Uh, yeah, I said I was taking a break, but I'm kind of buttoning up a whole lot of stuff. So this is done. The transmission is done in here. I think that's all good. T's outside. This one I wanted to do a diff, but I don't know if I'm going to get to it this year. The Pontiac is parked for the year, but uh, it needs a little bit of work next spring, but that's fine. So yeah. Let's see if the trannies shifts good in this one. Or we're going to find out if it does. Only one way to test it, right? <laughs> so 
till the next one. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.